Hi guys, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. So this is the third video of Android Paging Library Tutorial Series and in this video we will create our Recycler View and the Adapter. The first thing that we will create is the Recycler View. So uh, I will change this constraint layout to relative layout just for the sake of simplicity and then I will remove this hello world and here I will create a recycler view match parent match parent and let's give it an ID recycler view so we have our recycler view here we will display the data that we will fetch from the server okay now one more thing that we need is the adapter but in this case we will not use the recycler view adapter but the adapter that we are going to use here is a paged list adapter because we are going to fetch the items page wise so we have to use paged list adapter and in android paging library we have different kind of adapters according to our need so for the api that we currently have what is the API let me show you so this is the base URL and we are calling the answers endpoint and the answers endpoint is taking page number as a query parameter to display the specified page so when you have this kind of page list you have to use paged list adapter so uh, i will not cover about other adapters in this video but we are going to use only paged list adapter so first we will create one more class here so let's create a new class and i will name it item adapter as we are going to display this item in our list that is why I have given the name item adapter. You can give any name that you want. But the important point is we need to extend paged list adapter to this class and then it will become a page list adapter. And for the page list adapter, we need to define the item, the item that we are going to display in our list and then the view holder so i will create the view holder inside the same class so for now here i will write item adapter dot view holder or item view holder fine now inside this class i can create item view holder and this will extend recycler view dot view holder now press alt enter and create the constructor here also press alt enter and implement methods again alt enter and create constructor fine now for the constructor we don't need this thing okay but we need context to inflate our layout the recycler view layout that we will create okay so we have context here and let's define the context here as well and here we will write this dot mctx equals to mctx so we have the context object now we also need this def callback so let's define it here now this def callback will help us to determine whether two objects or two list objects are same or not okay so that is why we use a def callback here. So here I will create private static def util dot item callback. And for the item callback, I will define the item. So we have this item class that we are going to display in our list. This is actually our model class. Then I will name it def callback. And let's write here equals to then write new and press control space and select this thing 
and the rest of the code will be written automatically. Now this method will tell us if the items are same or not. So this is the old item and this is the new item. So here we can check or we can return old item dot answer id equal to equal to new item dot answer id fine now here we can write return old item dot equals new item now we will pass this thing to this super so we have our adapter class ready here we need to inflate the layout and here we need to bind the data so to inflate layout first thing we need is the layout so let's create a layout here so i will create item or recycler view item and here again for the sake of simplicity i will create a relative layout and height would be wrap content this is very important if you will make it match parent then you will see only one item at a time because that item will take all the height of your screen so here we will design a very simple layout so here you can see i have image view and the text view so i am going to display the user image and the user name and this is a line a black line that is drawn below the text view and image view so this is our very simple layout now we need to inflate this layout here in our item adapter so here we will inflate the layout using the context object so what we will write layout inflator dot from here we will pass the context and then inflate the layout is r dot layout dot recycler view item this is the parent and we don't want to attach it to parent we have the view now what we need to return from this method our view holder object so the return type is item view holder this is our item view holder the constructor of the item view holder is taking a view object and we have the view object here so simply we can write here return new item view holder and we can pass the view so this method is cool it is returning the inflated layout or you can say view holder instance actually it is returning the view holder instance and inside the view holder instance we have our inflated layout now come to on bind view holder and here we will simply bind the data so the first thing here we will do is we will get the item from the get item method so let's create an item object and call get item and you can see it is returning us item so we will pass the position that we have here so we have the item now we will check if item is not equals to null item can be null sometimes so you have to check if it is not null then only we will perform the operation or else your application will crash and you will get a null pointer exception so if the item is not null we will load the image so for loading the image we are going to use glide dot width here we will pass context we will load the item dot owner dot profile image and we will load this profile image into holder dot image view and i guess i forget to create the view instances so we have to do this thing inside this item view holder class so we have two things only image view and a text view and we can get this image view and text view from this view object so let's do it here image view equals to item view dot find view by id r dot id dot image view same for the text view so we have image view and text view name let's confirm text view name and image view fine now here we are loading the profile image into image view 
now we will set holder dot text view dot set text and we will set the item dot owner dot display name so we have set the data in the else part you can display a toast item is null or this is not necessary just to check what is happening so we have our item adapter class now if you remember the recycler view tutorial the adapter is same as the recycler view adapter with little changes like here we need to define item and item view holder and we have a difference callback this thing to get the difference between the objects okay so it will tell us are the items same and are the content same so it is self explanatory methods i don't think this will confuse you so we have the adapter guys now i cannot show you the output because there are a lot of things that we need to do to see the output so please create this class and in the next video we will move ahead and don't worry you can get the source code from the link given in the description of this video the link is of a github repository where i am committing the changes after every video so let me commit this thing as well so i will commit item adapter or let's say paged list adapter commit and then push the code so i will push the code to the repository master branch so the code is pushed guys you can get the code from the link given in the description of this video again i am telling this because many people comment where is the code where is the code so that's all for this video friends and we will meet in the next video and meanwhile if you are having any feedback or question please leave those in the comment section below so thank you guys this is bilal khan signing off